Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So I am going to be drawing a black cap chickabit chickadee today. Nice, simple. I'm just going to do it in ink and I'm just going to show you how I draw little birds. I love drawing little birds. They're so much fun. So I'm going to say, I always start off at the head and they've got little beaks. So I'll pop his little beak on. So now his head, his beak is about half the length of his head. So I measure everything against their heads. Um, I do have a couple of live, stu live stream tutorials up now, like full um, descriptions on different types of birds and things. If you want to go check those out on my live streaming um, section over here. So now his head, I've got to make his head a little bit wider actually, a little bit taller and a little bit wider going back there because he's got his little black cap. He's called a black cap chickadee. And I've got his little neck coming down here. And then his little pattern there. Now, his body is two times his head. So I measure his head and his beak. And then it's one, two. So I know that's how much, how long his body needs to be. And he's sort of got his back to us. And his head and his body is one and a half. So the thickness. So one, and I'll go about there. For the way he's sitting. So he's got his back to us. <clears throat> and then his tail and his body are the same length. So I'll just bring his little body into a V at the back like that. And his body and his tail are the same length. So I've just got this little reference picture of Unsplash or Pixabay. I'm not sure which of the two. Um, I use Pixabay and Unsplash quite a lot um, for references if I don't have my own that my daughter's taken or I've taken. Um, they're great reference sites for, for pictures. And the music that I'm using in the background here, which you might be able to hear, it's very faint, is uh, Epidemic Sound, which is also a paid... I pay a subscription and have royalty free music that I can use on my videos. And I love the classical, it's got a good mixture of all kinds of um, genres of music. Okay, so I've drawn his tail in three little stripes. Now he's got um, soft sort of hairy feathers coming down his back there. And then I'm gonna start to draw his flight feathers. He's got a couple of long ones coming down and around here and then you can only just see lines down the rest of them I'm not sure exactly the amount of feathers he's got um, I didn't actually count how many flight feathers he's got uh, you can <laughs> if you want to I'm just doing this is just a fast ink sketch for today just to show you how I draw and what my ink styles are techniques are now his wings over the feathers overlap I can only just see I'm gonna leave a little sliver of white in his eye I'm gonna pop his little leg down here and he's I can see three of his little claws so I'll draw three little claws on like that and then I'm down and around the back and I'll just draw a little stick underneath him. Can't see this other side of it. Right, we are ready for, to go in with the ink. So I'm going to use my dip pen because I love my dip pen. And I've got my ink already prepared here on the side. So I am going to dip to clean, make sure my pen's clean. And I'll use washes as well, dip ink washes. So all you do with this is I, you just draw it like you're drawing with a normal pen. I just like the ink, the dip pens, because you can get more of a, a different, uh, interesting lines. It's not all just one stroke, like one thickness. I much prefer to have it a little bit more texture, a little bit more rough, not so perfect. And I just, I don't, just soft, it looks softer. I think, I think dip pen drawings look softer than just a pen pen drawing. Um, 
they just look more you get this get rougher a bit more texture a bit more liveliness to the pen work to the lines to the marks i suppose that's how i could say it a bit more liveliness to the marks come down and i can also add ink washes which i probably will do at the end just so um you can see the shadows and they get the dark on his head a bit better a bit more a bit more defined so i'll pop these little fairy feathers they're like soft fine feathers i'm not going to fill in um all of the gaps i'm just leaving little you can see i leave little bits that are not quite finished lines it all makes it interesting stops it looking so hard now these feathers overlap come down and it doesn't matter if they're not straight lines doesn't matter at all not the end of the world because nothing in nature is perfect um, okay now I'm gonna get this feather coming down here make it a bit longer crisscross them at the bottom like that and then come around his little bottom area create a um, little bit softer there and then I'm gonna read do his tail so I've got to move my little ink out of the way. I'm going to start with the middle one. Take that down there. And then... There we go. I'll go over that with washes. I mean, you could, you could draw the individual little feathery lines. But I don't want to. I want to keep him simple. I'm going to make him like a very fast little sketch that anyone can do without the pressure because I used to be scared of drawing all the individual lines there was so much detail in feathers that it was intimidating so it took me a long time to get the confidence to try birds I did lots of other wildlife but I always was lacking in confidence with birds so just, all I can suggest is just practice practice and have a go so now I'm going to grab my brush and I am going to start with ink washes. So I'm going to wet. We get the same ink, exactly the same ink. Just bring it over and back into the camera a little bit. Get my same ink. And I'm just going to go over his little head. Doesn't matter about the pencil marks. And I treat ink pretty much the same as I do watercolour. I start with very light layers. And I build up to stronger, darker layers. So I'm just adding a very diluted mixture. I'll go under the bottom of his beak because the bottom of his beak's in shadow. And I'll take that down onto the bottom part of his head, the neck. And I'm also going to use that, very diluted, onto his back feathers. Because his wings are quite dark. I'm going to leave a little bit of white around the outer edges of them just because they do have little highlights on the edges of their wings they're not solid black birds like black feathered they've got little bits of gray and little bits of white so I'm just going to add that in very simply very easily I can have any visual any obvious um, pencil lines at the end I will erase I'll just get my eraser out and erase them um, now I'm just going to paint in these little lines I'm just using the side of the brush paint in those little feather lines and I'm going to take that same diluted mix onto his tail and just run it down the centers of each of the feathers doesn't matter if it's a little bit wobbly because it's just a sketch it's just for fun not the end of the world if it's a bit wiggly wobbly all right and I'm going to do his little legs and his little feet like that whoops doesn't matter if it's a little bit off the lines because I'm going to do this the, the stem in after as well now I can go a little bit darker so I'm going to grab a bit more ink a bit less water a little bit less water and a little bit more ink and I'm just going to go over pretty much go over what I just did 
and just add a darker layer. And I can clean my brush off, get the extra, excess ink off it and just drag that around with a slightly damp brush. Spread the ink that I'd already put on the paper and that just blends it, stops it looking so hard and one grey, like just solid, makes it look a bit softer. So same, I, I drop the ink on, I clean my brush and I just drag that ink that I've already put on there down like that. I will wait till that dries to do his eyeball. I'm going to add a bit more, a bit of strong dark, pardon me, a bit of strong dark ink around the bottom of his little beak like that. Right, I'm going to leave his little pupil till after because he's got um, quite, he's quite wet. It'll take a little minute to dry. I'm just going to go back into these back feathers now and add a bit more of a darker tone over the top. So it's just more ink, less water. And I'm using a water resistant black ink. So when it dries, it's dry. It won't, I can't, if I put paint a layer over the top of it, it won't re-wet. So, because you can get different kinds of ink. You can get water resistant or water soluble. But this one, once it's dry, it's dry. There's no going back. There's no changing it. It's done. So I recommend, because I use a lot of watercolour too, so chances are, you know, I'll get halfway through a painting that I just want to do an ink and go, oh, you know what? I think I want to add watercolour, which often happens with me. So, <laughs> so if it's water, so water resistant ink, I can wait till it dries and then I can add all the watercolour I want over the top and it won't affect anything. I'm now adding a very, very diluted grey just to the tops of these back of his feathers here. because He does have quite a lot of grey flecks there. Now again, another layer. I'm going to go more ink, less water, back onto his head. Actually, I'm going to go into his pupil. I'm going to do his little pupil first and I'll let that dry. And I'll go back onto his tail. While that's drying up there, I can go back onto his tail and start to add even darker. So less water, more pigment and start to add the darker strokes down his tail like that and like that and just take it you can take it in a single stroke like that I'll try to on that bottom one come up onto this top feather oops just trying to leave a little gap of white paper or light paper not white paper but lighter paper in the middle there we go and he's got much darker feathers under his little, under these wings, they're in shadow. So I'll take that feather, it's darker. So again, less ink, uh, less water, more ink. And I'll drop that in, even though it's still wet, it'll spread around a bit easier. I'm gonna add that really dark tone to there, like that. And I'll take it around on these feathers a little bit, just not all over. I don't want it all over, cause it'll make him look flat. So the more tonal values, the more different tonal values you use, the less flat they'll look. You want all the different, the different lights and darks as what brings things alive, makes things look more realistic. So now I'm just going to add some really dark bits in strokes around the very darkest dark areas on this little, little bird. I'm going to add some more of that diluted. I'm going to leave that all dry now. I'm going to go on to this lighter part of the bird. It's a white, actually the white part, but he's in shadow underneath. So anywhere that I see shadow feathers, I can just add that very diluted, very diluted. I'm going to go over the top of his little beak with that very diluted water, like ink, just a touch of ink in it, just to take the pure whiteness off the paper like that. Right, I'm gonna forget all that now, leave it all to dry, and I'm gonna go back onto the stick. And the stick is just, I'm gonna wet the paper. I'm gonna get my brush. It's got a little bit of ink on the brush, still doesn't matter. It's gonna wet the paper, treat it exactly the same as I would watercolor, and drop a little bit of ink in on the top. And that'll flow around like watercolor while it's still wet. And I'll just let that flow around and it just creates an interesting texture that looks more wood-like. 
and I'm just going to leave that. I'll drop a bit more watering down here maybe under this shadowy area and a little bit more ink just there like that because it's in shadow and I might darken up the very underneath of that stick by taking a bit more ink it'll still flow up too into that water that I've already put on you can see it sort of feathers up a little bit right he's looking like a little bird <laughs> he's looking good little chickadee I'm going to add a little bit more colour on his beak just to keep that interesting. I'm going to add a little bit of a black line around, so pure ink, less water around his little eye. And we put some little stri streaks with the tip of my brush onto his neck. I'm looking around I'm looking around on the little reference picture now to see any little feathers I can add some little darker feathers in which I'm gonna do just around here I'm gonna super darken up under here and I'm going with pure ink on the very bottom there like that on that bottom feather and I'm gonna go pure dark ink into the middle of these tail feathers like that Oops. like that there we go and I am going to call that done so I'm going to sign this down here and that is a very simple very easy little black chickadee just using ink dip pen and a brush so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Have a great day.